Hello, in this video, we'll talk about mirrors. We'll talk about two different kinds of mirror. One is the plane mirror. And other one is spherical mirrors. In the spherical, we'll talk about concave and convex mirrors. So the easy one and very simple one is a plane mirror. A plane mirror is a mirror which has a surface which is a straight line. So look like a straight line surface with one of the plane basically have a silvered. So a ray of light coming here or an object placed here will form an image at the same distance this x y is equal to x and y and these are called plane mirror there are various examples of plane mirror in the bathroom mirrors now understand that the shape of the mirror could be different it could be any oval shape circular shape or anything but the surface is plane hence all these mirrors are called plane mirrors now imagine we have a sphere like this made of glass and we cut a portion out of it then we have a curved shape here something like this okay now if we sort of put a reflecting surface on this side right so the ray of light is coming like this and it will get reflected from this side which means this side is silvered this is called concave mirror if we make this side silvered the inside one so that the ray of light is getting reflected on this side right basically it is called convex mirror okay now so we can represent that uh, in a diagram simply as this one so this one the curved surface sphere surface this is the center right this o point is called apex this distance km it's called aperture of the mirror. And this C is the center of the sphere from which we have cut the mirror, right? So this is going to be R or radius of curvature. And C is called center of curvature. A straight line passing through O and C is called principal optical axis. Okay, so OC is your principal PAL optical axis. And any other line which passes through O is basically called secondary optical axis. Just same as we did in the case of lens. Now these two mirrors have different properties. They sort of converge the rays and also diverge the rays. So let's look at them. So in case of concave mirror, right? This is our concave mirror. So this side is silvered and the ray of light is getting reflected on this side. Any ray of light which is coming parallel to the principal optic axis is getting diverged to a point called F, which is called the focal point. It's converging to the point F and this distance OF is called focal length. Right? F. Similarly, for the convex mirror, Ray of light is coming like this, getting reflected, and then we sort of extend that line. All of them seems to converge to a point F. This is called focal point. And this distance OF is called the focal length of the mirror. Now, in case of convex uh, mirror, the focal length is real, right? Because you can have an image form here. But in case of convex lens, 
sorry convex mirror basically it is virtual because it is behind the mirror so this is virtual and this is real now somehow we need to find a relationship between the focal length and the radius of curvature so that we can use it in different examples so let's say we have this mirror here okay just concave and say this is our axis okay and the ray of light which is coming parallel to this getting focused here at f okay now if you draw a perpendicular here right it will cut through the center you remember it will cut through the center right so we draw our perpendicular some different color and it will cut through the center which will come at c which is the center of curvature now by snell's law basically if you remember this angle is going to be equal to this angle i this is also i now these two rays or lines are parallel hence this angle is going to be also equal to this angle right because these are parallel If this is i this will be also equal to i now <clears throat> let's say this is point o and this is point a right and as it is spherical in shape you know this length now this 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 length is going to be equal to this length almost it's moving in a circle right so of is going to be equal to oa right so this is also going to be equal to f if this is equal to f this is going to be equal to f now these two angles are same right so this one is also going to be equal to f which means that 2f is going to be equal to the radius of curvature right so this is our r this is the center of the circle this is the spherical uh, mirror so we can say that the focal length or f is going to be equal to f or the focal length of spherical mirror is going to be equal to r divided by 2 so this goes down here right which is the radius of curvature divided by so in the next video we'll talk about the image formulation uh, for both the lenses and mirror uh, so this is just the basic to repeat we know that now the focal length of a spherical mirror is uh, r by 2 we have seen that we have uh, three kinds of mirror basically starting with plane mirror right then we have two kinds of spherical mirror one is a concave one one is a convex one and we we'll look into the image formation with these mirrors in our next video